thanks for all of your help so far as I get started on this camper thing journey. Wow, there's a lot to consider. But in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the project and I've got a little something special for you too. So, so stick around at the end, I wanna give you something. So all of you have been absolutely wonderful since I made this first video. Thank you so much for all of your input, all of your thoughts. I look forward to hearing a lot more of your thoughts as this thing kind of goes on the road. And I'm excited, but I'm also a little anxious about it, you know, as I kind of deal with this whole thing, right? There's a lot that goes into this. And, you know, I, I'm assuming that a year down the road, there's going, that's going to be plenty of time to, to get this thing started. First off, I have a question for you. For those of you who have built a camper, is a year enough? I mean, it seems like a pretty in-depth kind of thing. Now, I'm pretty handy with tools and, you know, I'm not a professional carpenter by any means, but I think I'm pretty handy with tools and I know my way around a wood shop pretty well. So what do you think? Tell me, where do you start with with drawing the plans or getting the ideas? I mean, I look at something kind of like what Forest Forest has, and that's that's really cool. And then I kind of look at some sort of hybrid like Chris and Marianne on Tread the Globe. What are your thoughts? What have you done? What have you experienced? I'd love to know what, what your thoughts on this are. If you've built your own, Maybe you could give me some pointers on where to start. I mean, is it just you go out first and you pick a van or you pick a camper and then you start tinkering with it until you, you get the idea right about where you want it? And maybe you never get it quite exactly where you want it. Maybe it's just a work in progress. It seems like that's what Foresty Forest does is it's just a work in progress, right? What's been your experience? I, I'd love to know. Number two, what exactly is the project? Well, as you know, I'm a photographer, I'm a videographer, and a producer. So I've been contracted by a major publication. I can tell you that much. A, a very major publication. To put together a piece on rural Western America. And the modern landscape of people and cultures and ideas that lives today. And the way that things used to be. But not, you know pre-Columbian era used to be. I'm talking about like, you know, recent history, right? From the 1940s till today, how has it changed? And this is a pretty interesting project and I'm really excited to do it. And it's going to be very, very detailed project. There's going to be a lot that goes into this thing. I mean, there's more than just the article that's going to appear in the publication. There's a digital piece, there's a photo book component, there's even a video component to this. So, so this thing's going to be a pretty in-depth project. And I'm including you in this thing step by step. I mean, step by step. From building the camper van and traveling to the interviews and talking to people and going behind the scenes with me. I, my goal is to include you in as much of this process as I possibly can. And when I go to maybe visit some places to look at, you know, campers or whatever. I, I want to bring you along with me on this journey every step of the way. And then as I'm out talking to people and doing photographs and doing video and kind of living this thing, uh, I want to include you in it. And I don't want to just include you in it. I want to engage you with it. And here's what I want to give you in return. So, as most of you know, I'm a photographer, mainly a commercial photographer. I've worked with a lot of publications in the past and worked with a lot of big brands and stuff. And all that aside, from this project, I want to do something. I want to try to get as many eyeballs on this project as I can, obviously for monetary reasons. I'd love to get the channel monetized. But here's what I want to do. Over the next 30 days... I am going to be taking one subscriber from every day and I'm going to be picking you and I'll send you a message or something um, in the thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a link to some digital artwork from this project. Now, granted, it may take a little bit to get to you to get the final thing to you, 
But I want, you know, obviously, because this thing's not starting, we're not even going to start filming for a year. But I want to send a certified autographed copy of this uh, photo to you as a thank you for being part of this. And every day for the next 30 days, I'm going to pick one. So that's 30 photos, 30 unique photos that aren't going to be published in the book. It's not going to be published in the article. It's not going to be used online anywhere. There's only going to be 30 individual photos. So that's 30 very different photos that haven't been used anywhere in this project or sold or anything else. Uh, this is going to be completely yours and it's going to be personalized and I'm going to sign it. This is going to be yours. So once a day for the next 30 days, I'm going to pick somebody from the channel here and we're going to send you that. And then after 30 days, we're going to get a grand prize. So somebody is going to get a signed copy of the magazine that this is going into. And I wish I could tell you which one, but I just can't because of, you know, legalities. But I'm going to give you a signed copy of the magazine, a signed print, and I'll even make sure that you get a DVD or Blu-ray version of the, the video component that's coming out and a personalized thank you just to kind of help make things better, right? Because I don't want this to be one-sided. I want it to be a value for value proposition. So my goal here is to give you some gifts and some incentives for following me and for interacting with me, helping me build the channel and helping me grow along the way and exchanging ideas with me. I mean, this shouldn't be one-sided. If I'm asking you for help and you're helping and you're engaging, I should give you something back if you're helping me. That's just the way that the world should work. I believe very much in the value for value proposition. I do. And I want to offer you something in return for this. And more than just an entertainment value or an interest value or something like that, right? I want to bring you into this community. And I want to build a community around this adventure. And because hopefully the adventures continue on for years to come. And that's what I want to include you with. All right. So now the last thing here that I want to bring up really and truthfully is if you go the camper thing, I've seen some comments and talked to some people that going with a company or, you know, a builder, right? Something like that may not be the best route to go. What What is your thoughts? I, I know my in-laws have had a lot of problems with theirs since they bought it a few years ago, like less than five years ago. They've had a lot of problems with it, with their company that built it, right? So, so what's been your experience with that? And then also, if you have an idea of where should we go, talk to me about it. I, I'd love to know if you have an idea where we should go on this trip, include me in it. If you have an interesting story to tell, include me in it. I'd love to hear it and possibly include you in the project. So anyway, I can't thank you enough for all of your help. Uh, you know, all... I have a lot of questions, a lot of ideas, and I'm sure with the more comments and questions, there will be more. And I'm trying to respond to as many of them as I possibly can in order to engage with you. So please become part of the family. Be sure to subscribe. This is a project and I really, really, really do value each and every single one of you. I do. Thank you for all of your help and all of your support. So be sure to subscribe. And I'll do a video in a couple of days with the next update. 